Well, hello all. So today in San Francisco, it's gonna be a hot one. And then tomorrow, it's supposed to be so warm that we break records throughout the, uh, the west coast of the US. So thanks to climate change, heat is still here. We're so much waiting for winter to get here. And so is Greenland. Surface ice in Greenland has been melting at an increasing rate in recent decades. The scientists studied the role of furin and catabatic winds downslope gusting that brings warm dry air into contact with the top of the Greenland ice sheet. Okay, it's nice out, so a lot of people out. They say that melting of the Greenland ice sheet related to these winds has gone up by more than 10% in the past 20 years. The researchers showed that downslope winds are responsible for a significant amount of surface melt of the ice sheet in both regions where surface melt leads to runoff and ice shelf hydrofracturing that increases freshwater flow to the ocean, causing sea level rise. The 10% growth in wind-driven melt combined with warmer surface air temperatures has resulted in a 34% increase in the total surface ice melt. Scientists attribute this outcome in part to the influence of global warming on the North Atlantic Oscillation. The Greenland melting has raised global sea level by about three quarters of an inch so far, after little change in the Antarctic sea ice extent. So the graph shows that the sea ice loss was dramatic in 2022 and even more dramatic in 2023 as less and less sunlight was getting reflected back into space and instead was getting absorbed by the water of the southern ocean. So that's what's causing all the problem is the warm air in the southern ocean. So there you have it. So much uh, warm air is causing the winds to heat up, which are blowing over the Greenland ice sheet, causing surface melt, which then causes cracks to form in the ice, and the surface melt flows down to the bottom and into the ocean, which is causing sea level rise. So we're getting sea level rise from the glaciers, from underneath the glaciers, and on, on top of the ice, causing all this melt and causing uh, surface sea surface rise around the planet. Now, when we first started this video, the uh, sea level rise was up one eighth to uh, three sixteenths of an inch. Now it's up to three quarters of an inch and rising faster and faster. Now at that rate, it'll probably take decades longer for any real significant uh, sea level rise to take place unless we have a sudden heat up around the planet, which might come as early as next summer. But even this, this uh, winter so far has been very warm, at least here on the west coast of the US. I'm still noticing that uh, sea surface temperatures are still high. Now let's look at these two graphs and you'll notice the, uh, the sea ice extent is now headed into a bad direction. The sea ice continues to melt faster and faster. We'll keep up on this and updating it. And we certainly do appreciate your comments, your ups, and your new subscribers. And until next time.